Hi ladybugs and today <laughs> I've got something quite fun and, and uh, sweet to make. I'm calling them flagpoles and for that you're going to need toothpicks, unused toothpicks, not the ones you've just cleaned your teeth with of course. <laughs> and then I think these are cocktail sticks, it's just stuff, um, stuff I have in my kitchen. These are more like cocktail sticks. So anyway, this is what I am using for these. And let me go through quickly and show you what I've done. I've made one with fabric and put some stamping on it. And, and this one is reversible. <laughs> now we're getting really cute with the reversible ones. And then this one is just a tag that I folded around it and zhuzhed it up. And I'll show you what I did there. Here's another one with bits and pieces. I mean, these are just too cute, too cute. And this one would be nice in a baby mini album or journal. I haven't done the back. Here's another one. This one I put lace on the stick. Eyelash trim, I mean, pff, again, like I always say, imagination is the limit. And they are quick and easy to make. And these go in your journal so nicely out. Let me show you. Uh, this is my personal journal. I haven't written anything. I'm just going to adjust my camera a teeny wee bit there. And these can go, I mean this is the wrong color for this one obviously, but we're not worried about that now. They just make great little pieces of ephemera to put in your journals, tuck into pockets, into tuck spots. And you can stick one in here. Look at that. And you can even make a place if you want a st in, on the back for journaling, just keep it blank. You know, just a word or put a sentiment. I mean, they just go everywhere and they're so cute. And you can, uh, let's put this one. Obviously put a few in place, different sizes. Look how nice that looks. Can you see that? So yeah, so um, that's what those are for. And you can even do this, it depends on your lace of course, let me show you. You can thread it through <laughs> and have it on the edge there. That looks really nice, I quite like that. I'm going to leave that one there. And look at it, it looks really nice hanging out. So let's put that aside. I have my glue gun, nice and hot and ready to go. So first thing you're going to do, to make to make this one I just got a little template that I already made of a triangle basically fold your paper again you know size is any size you want it to be so this is my fold right so let's just take it there all I do just trace it with a pencil And cut it out right on the line I just cut it straight on the line where's my line I can't even see it because this is a bit dark here we go there we go and um, let's do a pink one shall we again you got to fold your paper to get that fold if you want to make it bigger you can just increase the fold you know really really easy make sure the fold as well is on the narrow side and they don't have to be perfect triangles let's just do up Once again, let's cut it out and if you want, uh, depending on your journal or whatever, you can distress it. I'm not going to distress it now. And there we go. So I didn't trace that very nicely. <laughs> I'm just going to rub out, although distressing will cover that. So I've just got these two paper ones here. And all you're going to do... Where's my, yeah it is, 
take like so. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm using the wrong so uh, thing, aren't I? Start again, shall we? What am I? Yes, we all know what I am already. Ash, let's do it this way, sorry. The fold is on the long side. Cut it out. And just cut it out. I mean, you can make that into a point if you want. It's really up to you. Up my, some are points. You don't really notice once you've got all your frif frif on it. <laughs> right, that is the right way to do it. Fold on the long side, of course, because that's the side that's going to wrap around. Um, you know, and like I say, if you want to, you can any shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's do one more, shall we, of this gorgeous paper, but I'm going to fold it the other way so I can see better. Just going to use the same template. I mean, you can even hang your national flag on these. <laughs> I think they'll be quite good. You can make a maypole with them. A teeny weeny maple. There we go. Done. How cool is that? <laughs> right. Take your. Okay. Let's take one from here. Put it in. Um, now there's two ways you can do this. Okay. Oh, I'm just. Sorry, <laughs> my chair was running away from me. You can leave the bitty bitty out, the pointy end, and I'll show you why. Or you can also hide it away if you don't want it sticking out. Put your glue, you can use your any glue for this. And I normally stick it on my, my um, toothpick. There we go. What are you doing there? Let's just cut it off, shall we? Much easier. And then I also glue the rest of it down, which is mostly glued down already. It's not particularly straight. You can make it perfectly straight, obviously, if you want to. I'm just doing these like, like they are. And then, if you're going to leave that open, you can put, not these big ones, I've got this one here, my little pearl boxes. What if we put a pearl on top here? I think that's very cute. <laughs> so, all I'm going to do is take my glue gun. There we go, because I don't want it to come off, obviously. And, there we go. I'm sticking it on. Of course, if you want to get fancy, fancy, wancy, where is, um, there it is. Just grabbing my charm box. Oh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm wearing my back brace because yeah Problems what can I say and it gets Sometimes to maneuver with it is difficult. You can even put one of these findings on you. This one obviously is too big So I'm not gonna put that one at the same. Yeah This one is too, that is so cute. I like that actually. Looks like a little fairy cap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that one here. It's not the perfect one for here, but a bit too much glue there. Mm -hmm. 
looks like a fairy cap. You see that? And then of course, let's add a little pink one on here. Once again, my glue. It's just very easy to work with glue, a hot glue gun when you're doing this kind of thing. <laughs> That's really cute. Look at that. So let me just put that aside somewhere. Okay, and then, you know, afterwards, what you do with it, uh, you can stick, oh, that's for another one, uh, you can stick some fabric on there, let's put my, because we don't want to get too involved, so I'm just going to cut like, more or less a circle, sort of. I think that'll be fine and I'm gonna do I'm just making these quickly I'm not going to go too decorative on them but I mean you can do so much with these little babies let's stick that in scrunch it up very very cute uh, what else can I put on there you know what that's very nice what if we put a piece of this on there just i can't see the pink doesn't matter actually because it's going to be covered with the bead yeah i like it let's put that on there so you can just keep adding you can add butterflies rhinestones whatever pleases you whatever makes you happy I think oops that looks a little bit I think I still want something else on there it just looks a bit plain to me um, you can use stickers when you're making these as well I just got a little butterfly Maybe this one I will quickly, yeah, why not? Let's just add that. Yeah, immediately gives it a bit of a, oops, 3D effect, if you will. And I mean, and then you, oops, oh, that wasn't glued on. Then you can add a sentiment. I'll put the sentiment or you can add tags anything anything you can you want to add you just carry on adding I mean look how cute that is that was so sweet and, and it took me five minutes to make and if you want you can do the back obviously or you can just keep it plain or maybe again just a strip of uh, blank paper and you can write something or a sentiment on the back anything goes with these babies and on here, oh, <laughs> this is it from the glue gun. Go away now. Look at that. <laughs> um, you can add a ribbon, like I said there. This one, very, just I put a stamp. He has a, a, a sentiment on there. This is one of Tim Holtz's sentiments. And now I want to show you what I did on that. And this is just using paper for the, these ones. But to get that effect, look, you can't, I know you can't see it a lot, but it still looks quite cool. What am I doing? Let me get that. And then, especially if you're making a bigger one with a bigger stick. Script. And let's do, actually can just do like that. And then you can just wrap it around to make your stick a little bit more interesting. Can't really see that it's script. There we go. But it gives it a, a different effect. So you don't just have 
the plain stick. And then when I was messing around with these, I got even more clever. Because you know, I can be very clever. I started painting them. Let me just show you here. <laughs> this looks like a hedgehog. And um, yeah, you can, and I stuck them in the sponge to dry. Because otherwise, you know, you, if you put them on the side, you're going to spoil it. So I got my kitchen sponge out. So these are all ready to use. And the paints. And then I got carried away and I did some lace as well with the same uh, Distress Oxides. This is the Mermaid Lagoon. Mowed Lawn. And this one is a Shabby Shutters. This is the Shabby Shutter color. It's a little bit pale. And then I got, and these are actually painted on with a brush. A little bit of water but then you know I got lazy and I thought no there's got to be a faster way so I gave it a shake and let me grab another one. Oh, get ya and oh, oh I just opened it because you know what these were to hand you can use any paint you want for this all right um and I started dipping. I just dipped them in. And look at that. Perfectly painted. And then you can stick it in your watch it to dry. And then because of these cocktail sticks, well, I'm probably gonna that will part obviously is gonna be covered with um whatever you in fact I'm gonna do this one while I'm here. So yeah, so I landed up dipping all of these in the various paints. I gave them a shake, dipped them. Like I say, use whatever you paint you have. Acrylic, my Distress, which were handy at the table at the time. I used those. So now, of course, you can also use... Let's put that there. I think it's really cute. Fabric. And I have a little packet of fabric here. Look, I missed a bit there. Do I have another one? Mm, I'll use the green one. Um, yeah, the pink one, I mean. Look at that, so nice. So, I've got a bit of pink here. I suppose I should clean that with a roller brush, but that'll do for the moment. So I'm gonna cut it. I like using my pinkers. They're all called pinkers, aren't they? So I'm going to just cut off, about there should do it, I mean you can do it, make a circle, you can you know make a circle and fold it, and do your fabric like so, and I think that's pretty big enough, I quite like my little bead on the top like I did here, I think it looks really nice, it's getting very messy again isn't it, I really am bad. <laughs> Okay, so I think, okay, we can make a big one, I suppose, isn't it? So then I'd, all I do is open my, like so, or you can also just put your glue on, whichever way you want. I know more or less where the middle is. Oh, I want to keep that slightly out. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to make it, uh, it doesn't have to be straight. You can do it like so as well. You see. So cut it into any shape you want and just fold it around your stick. And from there, you embellish with anything you want. Shall I use some of this? Let's add some green. And I, I used the, the same paints, these Distress Oxides, to paint because it was on my board. And you know what? It's come out very nice. Look at that. Really nice. I thought it might be stiff or something, but not at all. That's far too big for there. So. Yeah, we can put a bit of uh, green on here. That's cool. Which side is the better side? And you know, I always like to do my little crinkly crinkly in the background. So I'm just going to use what I have on my desk. I'm not going to go...
I just think it looks nice when you've got crinkies underneath and then you just draw it in ow 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 burn yourself in the process oh look at that so pretty okay that's already sticking that's perfect and um, what if we tie and no, I don't have any more of that left hey look I've got this here oh I think that looks nice can even add let's see sentiments obviously have to be quite small these Tim Holtz ones are just so nice and they're so funny as well hey how about I am fabulous uh oh get back in there and I yeah oh, it's actually not too bad you can if you want okay it's a very weird let's do like so like so oh I like that so let me stick you on first <coughs> Sometimes it's can't tell what's the right side and which is the wrong side. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my glue, even though this is a sticker. <laughs> Look at that. Very, very cute. And because I still think it needs a little bit of something. got too much on here haven't I? I'm distracting you from <clears throat> what's going on here. Um, hey maybe I've got a tiny bit of this one left. Yeah. Or a red, pink ribbon. Any ribbon will do actually. So you can do that and what let me just show you how I did this one. Where is it? Not that one, not that one, not that one. Let's put you back in there. You know, I'm trying to keep my table tidy, but <coughs> it just doesn't happen. <coughs> um, like I did on that other one, all I did is I wrapped, if you don't want your stick to show, I just wrapped the ribbon around and glued it on and then put bows and what you might call it of course you can also use stickles on here because this looks a, a little bit flat or I could even put a few sequins I do like my sequins one last thing before I, I sign off on these is that you can of course add your little dangly charms on here as well you know with a safety pin or a bulb pin anything and you can make a series of them coming down so yeah so there's plenty to be done on these so I'll see you again soon ciao now bye bye